Hey guys, it's Misa, and I just wanted to quickly show you how to customize um, this uh, framed ornament set in the Glowforge user interface. Um, this way you don't need to monkey around with any other program like Inkscape or Illustrator. You can just go ahead and customize them pretty well just right here. Um, so I've got some white birch loaded that I got from Smoky Hill and um, their corresponding setting is this uh, medium basswood plywood. So I've got that selected. This is right here, you click that and you can pull up all of the um, proof grade settings and you can also add in specs for uh, things that are not proof grade. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead to this plus here and pull up my artwork. All right, upload. Okay, I think it is right here. Open. Uh, while that uploads, it's really cool that they've added all this clip art. Um, you can go ahead and search it here and add these little things to your um, designs. I think that, that that's awesome. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Command C, Command V that to copy and paste to just get myself another one. Yes, I needed that. All right, so I've got these little ornament backs here. These are gonna be personalized with engraving. And then I've got the snowflake, the wreath. Oops, I'm gonna go Command Z. Didn't mean to resize that. So Command Z to undo. All right, and then this cute little star, okay. So I'm just going to do one and just show you how to, I'm using the arrows here to move that around, and show you how to just center it so that you get it where you want. Okay, um, let's zoom in here. All right. All right, going to go ahead and hit this little type tool, insert text. All right, and um, do our... Oops. Our first Christmas. Enter. Okay, select that and move that around. Want to be able to resize this. Okay, well, that's kind of hard to see here. Let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to resize that a lot, little bit there. Try to center it right here. And then I'm going to move this over. And then you can add the date. Um, you could add a cute quote. But you see, once it engraves on that back panel, and then you put this more detailed panel over the top, that's how it's going to show up. And really, that's it. So I'm going to zoom back out here. So if I were to be doing the wreath with whatever text I wanted, see so with this one, I would just move it to the middle, click out of that, select this guy. Right, and then this would just go on top. And then same for the snowflake. This one's really cute for a, um, so it would resize it maybe a little bit for this one. A baby's nurse first Christmas. Um, I think these two actually would be kind of cute for a wedding too, in some way. Maybe I'll blow them up a little bit bigger and use them for a different purpose. Um, so the snowflake, I resized that one a little bit. And so, you know, you would just move it around to um, be centered the way that you like. And once you are done with that, you would just double check your settings here for um, this one. I like to set my engrave to um, SD graphic um, and then double check that these will be cut. And then if I was online, I would just come up here and hit print and uh, be ready to go. Okay, thanks. Hope you have any, if you have any questions, I hope you'll reach out.